students. For today, we will practice saying questions and answers with the correct intonation. But before that, what is intonation? Intonation is the changes in sound produced by the rise and fall of the voice when speaking. Rising intonation means our tone should go up. Falling intonation, on the other hand, means our tone should go down. Now, we're ready to practice intonation in saying questions and answers. To illustrate intonation, let's first discuss WH questions. WH questions are questions that start with who, what, where, when, or why. WH questions usually have a falling intonation. We also use a falling intonation in answering these WH questions. To give you an idea, let's look at these examples. What's the matter with you? I have a headache. Did you notice that my tone went down? That is the falling intonation. Let's say it again. What's the matter with you? I have a headache. What's the matter with you? I have a headache. Next example. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. Again, my tone went down when I said the two sentences. Let's say it again. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. Lastly, what's the matter with you? I have a stomach ache. Similarly, these two sentences also have a falling intonation. Let's say it again. What's the matter with you? I have a stomach ache. What's the matter with you? I have a stomach ache. And that is the end of this lesson. Keep in mind that we use a falling intonation in asking WH questions as well as in answering them. I hope you practice saying questions and answers with falling intonation every day. Goodbye and see you later!